Deltoid. There are three deltoid muscles in the body. You have your front, your middle, and your back deltoid. Now the fibers train the deltoid. If your goal is to isolate it and strengthen a certain part of the deltoid, deltoid, <laughs> we're gonna go over a few exercises that'll help you isolate it. And as always though, the goal is to properly position your body to properly align the other part of your body so you can isolate it and train to improve your posture, your mechanics, and everything else, and eliminate your pain all at the same time. How freaking efficient and cool is that? Number one, front deltoid, front raise. So you can see that the, the first step, this is what you are doing. I see you in the camera. You're watching us looking like this. Everything's rolled forward. And what you're doing now is you're elevating the arm. You have a dumbbell or cables. And because of this, what you're doing, well, is because you're all rounded forward, you're crushing, there's all kinds of ligaments and tendons in here, and you're crushing your shoulder. Maybe you're wearing out the labrum in here, or the, uh, one of the tendons of the rotator cuff muscle, and it's because of your shoulder blade position and your neck position. That's why it hurts to begin with. So if you're getting the most common thing, which is a pinching, it's a pinching, it's called impingement, it happens right here. If you lift your arm up and rotate it inward and that hurts you like this, or hurts you when you do push-ups or, or overhead presses, you likely are impinging it, and the cause of that is likely your position your blade. So this is a different video, but number one is to set your blade in position. To quickly do that, you would hold your arm to your side, rotate the arm outward, and the blade scoops underneath. The bottom of the scoop position, stop it right there. That is the position to hold your blade in while you train your deltoid. Now, Front raise, you guys like doing this with dumbbells, with cables, whatever it is. Okay, let's start with a light dumbbell. This isn't a hip thruster. Understand why you're doing this. You're doing this, you're doing this. The purpose of this isolation exercise is to strengthen. You're gonna get a lot of front deltoid and some of the side deltoid. See the fibers? So muscle fibers, what they do is they contract. So this oh, one here, <laughs> what they do is they contract. They squeeze like this and it elevates and relax. Squeeze. How was that, Andrew? I zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> That's Andrew's defense mechanism. That's what he does. <laughs> okay. So these muscles here, when they contract, it lifts the arm. So you're gonna do side right now. Okay. I can't see what you're doing. Front raise. Right. We've done enough front raise. <laughs> right. So you get it. Lateral raise. Lateral. Guess what? There's posterior. And then the back muscles, the posterior. So there's three general isolation exercises to help you hit primarily the delt, okay? Now you can get into other movements, but right now it's important for you to understand So this. I have not done deltoids isolation exercises in probably seven years. I bet I haven't done them in 10. And I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not like I'm a bodybuilder, Same, but it's you know? defined. <laughs> what Andrew's saying is, is by training more functional movements, more movements that represent, that reflect how you live your life, whether it's uh, overhead squats or push-ups or even doing uh, different kind of Olympic lifts like snatches. My shoulder's tight. That was, don't blame your shoulder there. <laughs> it was a 12% effort into a snatch, okay? Here, I'll do a little better. Okay, or whether you're coming up and, and you're catching, you're doing snatches. That was 20, that was 47% right there. I could do snatches. I just need a little more warm-up. Don't embarrass me on camera. Are you going to come do the snatches today, Jim? I'm training jiu-jitsu. Guys, my training practice is different, it varies. I got strength training, jujitsu, some yoga, spear fishing, mountain biking. I like doing all the things. Okay, um, so that's deltoid. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that people blame the deltoid for hurting and really we've never seen one with a deltoid injury. It usually comes down to that, that impingement of the right. rotator cuff or the bicep tendon, labrum, labrum issue. Yeah. This has never really Hurt. Yeah, it's almost always the same, and the cause is almost always the same, too. It's, it's, just, it's just that blade. It's that blade. It takes a while to fix your blade, so if you want to learn how to fix your blade, if you need to fix your shoulder, you can go and roll in the Move You Forever Fix program. You'll fix your shit over there, like everyone else. And, uh, but if this helps you right here, hopefully this helps you out. Just keep that blade in better position. That's really the main message of this video. I'm Mike! <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm compensating for the shoulder movement elsewhere. 